Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another box of 2020 Bowman Baseball First Edition. Um, break 10, we skipped a few breaks, 10 for some reason sold out before a few others. So if you're looking for that, they still need to sell out. So for break 10, wait, I gotta make sure I grab the right list for break 10. All right, John down to John Samuelson. Right, yeah, so there you go. So there, there it is right there. Got the break credit promo a little bit. Uh, at the end of this break will be the break credit promo. All right, now obviously Bobby Witt Jr., Jason Dominguez are your big names that we're chasing right here, but all card chip because there's a lot of other solid names as well that could carry maybe not as much value as Bobby Witt and Jason Dominguez, but they'll, they'll carry some solid value. All right, good luck, everybody. There you go, Dustin's. We were just talking about the, the that five year stretch where the Dodgers had rookies of the years in the '90s on like bad teams, but uh, it was Carroll's first, then Piazza, then Mike Piazza, then Raul Mondesi, Hideo Nomo, then Todd Hollinsworth. Did they also have four in a row from '79 to '83? Who were they? That must have been like the Bill Russell. Infield, that infield that was together for like a zillion years. Oh, never mind. It was the Sutcliffe, Steve Howe, Fernando, and Steve Sachs. That's not a bad quartet there. Kevin Bennett remembers being a kid going to games in the Fernando Mania era. Yeah. If anyone, if anyone's a bit on the younger side, go look at go look at Fernando Valenzuela's rookie year stats, and just he came out of the gate like I don't think I've ever seen anyone come out of the gate that strong as a pitcher. Who's the next pitcher after Fernando to come out of the gate as strong as he did? I, I struggle to think of anyone in the last like 10 or 15 years. Maybe maybe Dontrell Willis in the 90s maybe had like a had that kind of that kind of run to start his career. Sorry to that player. Dwight Gooden, right, right, right. Doc. Well, what about last 20 years, though, Dustin? Oh, I don't want to watch this. The tuck rule game. Not gonna watch the Tuck Rule game. All right, we'll watch. Uh, we'll watch Yankees at Rockies. Why are we watching Yankees at Rockies? What's the significance of this game? I don't know. This is Braylon Marquez to fifty. That'll be for Jeff Iveson and the Cubs. Remember, all card ship. Here's Josiah Gray, one of the Dodgers prospects there. Jesus Sanchez to 75. Joey Bart. 
A lot of great prospects in there. Tomas, there was that C.J. Abrams back there, too. Logan Gilbert to 150. Colin and the Mariners. Ryan Rollison for the Rocks. Oh, can't forget about this guy. That's Jason Dominguez. People are saying his base cards are e going easily over 200 bucks. If you get a parallel, three, 400 bucks, 500 bucks, that's wild. But I feel like he, he kind of, it's the perfect storm, right? He's on a big market team, number one international prospect, right? He's got a nickname, named after Jason Giambi, you know, so. So, the perfect storm, ticks a lot of boxes there. But there's a lot of future good players. Julio Rodriguez, I've heard things about him. Joe Adele, Wander Franco, of course, Kiebert Ruiz, Kalanick, Haliot Ramos, Blade. Wow, that sold out already? Yeah. We'll add that to the schedule too. I'm I'm doing the schedule now. Alright. I think I I think I've got it on track though. Oh, okay. Well here's an unofficial schedule in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Luis Robert. All right, nice. So the schedule is official now. Seth Beer, Diamondbacks. There's Christian Javier to 150. Mackenzie Gore, Alec Baum. Curtis wants to know what we're doing for May the 4th be with you. Nothing, Nick says. What are you buying off of us, Curtis? What should we order for you? Oh, that's only two days. It's like two days out. You should have been asking us this question like a week ago. And then we would have been able to actually do something. Reese Hines to 150. And Clark Schmidt. Was yesterday or sixth year of the anniversary? Yeah. Wow. See, we're we're not about that pomp and circumstance, folks. We're ju we just we just come in here, roll up our sleeves, and just grind. That's what we do. Anniversaries. The celebrations. Yeah, we don't pass on on the back. I mean, what six years when we're planning to be around for like twenty six years? You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just like. Yeah, we we only celebrate decades. Yeah. All right, Sam Huff. I don't know what we're doing on May the fifth either. What 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 day what day of the week does that fall in? Cinco de Mayo. There's Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals, Richard Zitterman. Ryan Harold, if you pressed your own Jaspies t-shirt, would we be upset? Yes. That would be a violation of, of copyright. And trademark. Travis Swagger. And then we'd have to sue you, and we don't want to do that. Right, <laughs> be like a Supreme shirt, Jaspie Supreme shirts. Woo! And there's Jaron Duran for the Red Sox. All right, there you go. All right, now. Good luck, everybody. If you bought at least two teams, you'll get one entry for break credit. Brian bought two. John Samuelson bought two. Chris bought two. Colin bought two. 
Darren bought two, that's an entry. EA, two, that's one entry. Jared with two, that's one entry. Jeff with two, that's one entry. John, two. Josh, two. Matt with two. Matt F, Matt G, no. Richard with two. If you buy four teams, folks, that's two entries in the promo. Six teams, three entries, so on and so forth. All right. So name on top after four, uh, five and a four, nine times. Name on top, 100 bucks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and good luck. Ninth and final time. Boom. Jeff Iveson, last spot mojo. 100 bucks break credit going your way. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.